Hello readers, hope you guys are having a nice day because if you are, I'm gonna make it better. Because this book is so... Six and a half hours later. Oh, so amazing. Today's book is going to be And the Mountains Echoed. There are many chapters in this book, nine exactly, and somehow they are related by the tiniest detail. And in the end of the video, I am going to be telling you guys how these chapters and characters come together. The first chapter talks about a father named Sabur, his son named Abdullah, and his daughter named Pari, and they are all walking to Kabul uh, from Shadbagh. And by the way, Kabul and Shadbagh are all in, are in uh, Afghanistan. The story is not actually based on uh, Abdullah, Pari, and uh, Sabur. It's actually based on a story that Sabur tells their children while they are walking to Kab uh, Kabul. The second chapter is like a little summary that talks about the main points of the book before the book gets into any details. The third chapter is from Abdullah and Pari's mother's perspective, who is always comparing herself with her little sister, Masuma. Masuma is prettier pretty. than Pervana, and even though Pervana is way more intelligent than Masuma, Mastu Masuma still gets a lot more attention than Pervana. The fourth chapter talks from Pervana's brother's perspective, Nabi, who is writing a letter to a person named Mr. Marcos. Nabi has served for the Wahdati family for over 50 years. Suleiman and Nila Wahdati live in a mansion and they have also adopted Pari, which is the only reason why Sabur, Abdullah and Pari were walking to Kabul. The story also talks about how Nabi still served for Suleiman even during the war times when grenades hit their roofs, when bullets hit their walls and when bombs fell uh, on the sidewalk but luckily the house stood on. The fifth chapter talks about these four people named Timur, Idris, Amra, and Roshi. Timur and Idris are the sons of Mr. Marcos and they have been given the Wahdati mansion. Amra is a nurse at a hospital who is nursing a little girl named Roshi and something terrible happened to Roshi. And I'm not going to say it because it might be too violent for the kids who watch this channel. The sixth chapter talks about Pari's life which is really sad. It's about how her, her, her mother commits suicide and how her husband had had a heart attack. And the seventh chapter talks about Abdullah's little brother Iqbal, whose grandson Ghulam had become friends with the main character of this chapter, Adil, and for some time they were actually friends until they became enemies. Remember the guy who Mr. Nabi was writing a letter to, Mr. Marcos? Well, the 8th chapter talks all about him and his wife, Thalia. Mr. Marcos, when he was a child, had heard that Thalia was bitten in the face with a dog and that when he, was, when he finally saw Thalia, he thought that a dog had eaten her face. And the ninth, ninth chapter talks about Abdullah. Right now, I'm going to be telling you guys of how all these characters and chapters come together. So, Sabur's wife died giving birth to Pari and he married Parvana and they had Iqbal. Nabi is the brother of Parvana and Iqbal is the grandfather of Ghulam. Timur and Idris are the sons of Mr. Marcos and Mr. Marcos himself is the best friend of Nabi. This book was written by Khalid Husseini. I would recommend this book to people who don't like reading boring books because Khalu Husseini has like an anti-boring book spray that he sprays all over himself before writing the book. That's why I rate this book a 5 out of a 5. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell and also comment down below which chapter was your, was your favorite. In my next video, I'm going to be stating the 5 major reasons why you guys should start reading books. So stay tuned. See you later. Bombs uh, went on the sidewalk. Remember the guy who... Uh, remember when... Uh, It, it, it and uh, no. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What? I've come to talk with you again. Nila and Paddy decided to fly to Paris, and 
stayed there for the rest of their time. Khalil Husseini has like a, a anti-book spray. Say what? Anti-boring book spray. That